this is Choc Fudge Brownie Flavor Costa Coffee. Uh, frappe, as they've called it. I got it from Tesco. It was approximately £1.50, something like that, for quite a small bottle. Uh, it says Shake Well, and it says Review It on YouTube. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to Food Review UK. My name's MJ. Yeah, let's crack into this, shall we? Uh, yeah, I literally was just walking past this in Tesco random product uh i gave it a look expecting it to be you know something boring and fudge brownie um that's actually a pretty interesting flavor of a coffee frappe product and this of course being costa coffee which if you didn't know is owned by coca-cola uh so i think they're sort of i think it's a uk company and it was bought out by coke and they're trying to make it a bit more of a global brand i think so maybe that's why we're seeing this potentially interesting product Hashtag preview flavour. Wow. Lil Fracker, the official glass of Food Review UK. You are coming out, please. Oh, it's quite thick. Another little lick. Um, yeah, much thicker than I was expecting, actually. It's almost like a, it's almost like a milkshake. <sighs> Let's give it a go, guys. Fudge brownie frappe. Mmm. Nice bit of froth to it. Oh, I have to say, it is a little on the thick side, which is a little bit weird. Yeah, I'm not sure it needs to be anywhere near that thick, but the coffee flavour is nice. It's like a toasty sort of caramelly kind of coffee. I don't know if I know more about coffee these days. Since I've become an avid coffee drinker, I absolutely love the uh, iced brown sugar oat shaken espresso from Starbucks. I've become an absolute simp for it, to be honest. Hmm, this is good. And actually, there is somewhat of a fudge brownie taste there. It is sort of vaguely mockerish. You know, mocker is just coffee and chocolate. Um, but it does have the sort of cakey fudginess of fudge brownie, obviously. Uh, like I said, I'm pouring out again. I still think it's ridiculously thick. Uh, the, the thickness is, is not good, to be honest. But let's have one more little go. Hmm. Yeah, it's, there's like this slight hint of vanilla. It's like a cakiness. It is a fudginess. It does actually taste quite American, to be honest. That American influence. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not crazy, crazy, crazy sweet. Like, it is sweet, but it's not outrageously sweet. There is a little bit of bitterness there from the coffee. Earthiness, if you will. Um, it's not bad. Like I say, I think it was £1.50. Um, I'm not 100% certain, and it's 250 mil. So, yeah, it's not a huge amount. Um, and the thickness definitely does mark it down for me, to be honest. But it's a fine coffee. I'd give it three stars. Yeah. Perfectly serviceable, really. It's nowhere near my bay of the ice brown sugar oat shake and espresso from Starbucks. If you've not tried that, I absolutely bloody love it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to Florida soon, actually. I don't know if this... No, no, this video should definitely go up before we go to Florida, of course. I'm um, nowhere near... We're, we're going to Florida in, like, three weeks. So I'm nowhere near the scheduling for that yet. Well, I say nowhere near. I will be soon. Because i got to obviously upload two weeks in advance. Anyway, I'm probably boring you to tears. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs> Skittles gummies?